will lie. I got head. I 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 am crazy in the sack. My dad goes, she got away. But she's not on my crack. I am far gone. I forgot. I forgot to buy a truck. It was close as what the fuck. Get it down in my truck. Yeah, I'm fucking in my truck. I will lie. I got head. I will lie. I got head. I will lie. I got head. I won't lie, I got it. We do go get in the back. On my ass, like I wish back. Put it back on my head. Not that they get just as bad. Don't shoot me, he's so strong. Put it by me down the hall. I'm just gonna die your dead. Just don't keep making friends. I won't lie, I got it. I won't lie, I got it. I won't lie, I got it. Today we shall be reading Yandere Tifa, ex male reader. A story by Monk Santo. Chapter 1 Opening Night Third Person POV Tifa smiled to herself as she put the bottle of dark rum on the shelf of her new bar. Tifa smiled and looked around, making sure everything was in place. Everything was ready for the opening. Today was Tifa's second bar, which she had also named the Seventh Heaven. Tifa took a step back and looked at the bar before she looked around, looking around to make sure everything was in place. After seeing that everything was ready and prepared, Tifa smiled and went to the sign of the door and turned on the neon sign, it shining through the window as Tifa smiled at her new bar. Tifa walked behind the bar counter and inhaled happily as the new seventh heaven was finally open for business. Your name, POV. I sighed as I walked down the road. How did this even happen? I sighed again, putting my hands in my pockets, and thought to myself, Why the hell does this keep happening to me? I mean, I'm not a bad person, am I? I turned the corner of the street and walked down the sidewalk, making my way to the local jail. I entered the jail and was greeted by one of the guards as I was by the jail more times than I would like to admit. Jim Hey, your name. Your name. Hi, Jim. How's the wife? Jim. Good. Very good. Are you here to buy bail out Diana again? Your name. Yup. Afraid so. Jim. All right. Come on in. I sighed as Jim let me into the jail as I walked up to the front desk and spoke. Your name. Um, hi. I would like to bail out Diana Cromwell. The woman at the front desk spoke, while raising her eyebrow. Jailer, again? I sighed as I nodded and spoke. Your name, again? The jailer sighed as she spoke. Jailer, well, it's your wallet. I sighed as I took out my wallet, gave the jailer my credit card, and paid the bail. One of the guards went into the back, and I heard a familiar voice scream out in joy. Diana. Finally, I'm free, bitches! I sighed and slightly smiled to myself as I heard footsteps approach me. I turned my head to see my beautiful girlfriend walking towards me, and there's a picture of, um, of, uh, said said uh, Diana. Diana. Ah, there's my boyfriend. Diana trapped me in a constricting hug as she spoke. Diana, come on, let's get out of here. I sighed as Diana wrapped her arm around my shoulder and we exited the jail as my girlfriend. Diana, so what should we have for dinner? Your name. Can we talk about this? I mean, this is the fourth time you've got arrested this month. Diana, oh, relax your name. 
It's not bad or anything. I mean, you could just bail me out again. Your name. Look, Diana, if this keeps happening, they could put you in prison. And I don't have the money to bail you out of there. Besides, I can't keep doing this every few weeks on a teacher's salary. Diana, what are you talking about? You make plenty of money. Your name. I am a chemistry teacher. I'm barely keeping everything together as it is. I sighed as I looked down and spoke. Your name. Diana, maybe you could leave the gang and get a real job. I was suddenly interrupted by a punch to the face, sending me flying as I landed on the ground and looked up. Diana, how dare you say that? The gang is my friends, my family. I'll never leave them, and I have a job. Diana left in a huff as I sighed and got myself off the ground. I sighed as I watched my girlfriend walk off into the alleyway. I sighed as I began to walk, looking around as I desperately needed a drink. I looked around and saw a neon sign in a window called the Seventh Heaven. I looked through the window to see people drinking, and I saw a flyer in the window saying, Grand Opening. I sighed and walked, opened the door to the Seventh Heaven, and took a seat as I heard a voice. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Can I get you a drink? I looked to see a beautiful woman holding a drink with a beautiful smile. And uh, there's a there's a picture of um of uh, of the titular uh, Tifa Lockhart. Yes. Indeed. I blushed as I looked up and down at the beautiful one. She was almost as beautiful as Diana. Your name. No. You're in a committed relationship. Your name. I have a girlfriend. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, what? No. I'm the bartender. I'm just offering you a drink, since it's our opening night. The first drink is free. I blushed. As the what the hell I had just done. Oh, on accident. Your name. Oh, sorry. In that case, could I have a Lagavulin meat? The woman smiled as she poured me a drink. I thanked her, for I took the drink and began to drink quickly, finishing the drink and buying more and more as the woman spoke. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, sure. Are you okay? I don't mean to pry, but you're drinking an awful lot, so I'm starting to get worried. I spoke with honesty as I looked into her eyes. Your name. I'm sorry. My girlfriend just... My girlfriend and I just got into a fight, and I feel pretty bad about it. The woman spy smiled as she spoke. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, how about you go home and apologize to her? That way, the two of you can put this behind you. I sighed as I stood up from my seat and spoke, slightly stumbling as I was still tipsy. Your name. You know what? I should do that. Thanks, Miss, uh, Tifa. Tifa. Tifa Lockhart. I smiled as I exited the seventh heaven and went home to Diana. Tifa POV. I smiled as I watched the man leave and smiled. Tifa. He was kind of cute. Well, I think that about wraps it up for this time in relation to the story. I'm sure that the budding relationship shall go, shall grow saucier and saucier, and maybe even a little spicy. Hmm. I am sure looking forward to the next installment of Yandere Tifa X Male Reader. Thank you, and have a pleasant and wonderful